Elio kuiraneria hama bolio ya wa seneta ni gumu waziri wiki gancheke na negia serekari John Mbadi Aikira na avosi uwe ense moye senet ili kuiraneria hama bolio au au Mbadi na kuwa nereigoro yomoro vili uwe wizara ejo ya bekire anene aso kuligiriria mangana appending bills Na boi guwa mangana yoko ena nwa wechi contract kusechi konda asate vire na alino kwege na wune wizare yu ne chigo kore obja asoko ene kia igoro ye moro velio novo kore li obja nse yobo teneneli wa yetika ngo toli gire liyo roboti uro just to to agree to fund only their own their own but if you pay the pending bills what happens now for further construction is it just paying debt for these contractors and uh, what arrangement is there to make sure that those roads which were funded by the Chinese continue and they are finished. Because that is the interest of Kenyans. We don't want to know whether you have paid them. They are pending bills. Pending bills is only pending. But we want what, how the arrangements you have for continuation and completion of those roads and what will happen to those ones which are not funded by the Chinese. Let me just explain how the Chinese contractors, the Chinese government through China Development Bank agreed to take up some of these contracts and pay. Previously, we are aware, especially during President Kibaki's time, that Chinese government used to fund a lot of road constructions in this country. They were giving us funds and bringing their contractors. That was one of the conditions. But along the way, we shifted our attention from road construction funded by Chinese contractors to other areas like SGR, geothermal, ETC. So very few of the roads in this country from the time President Uhuru came into office have been contracted uh, or done by funds from the Chinese government. Most of the roads that we see Chinese contractors engaged in are funded through government of Kenya funds. Now, it became almost impractical for us to be able to finance all this road construction, both by Chinese contractors, other contractors from elsewhere, and even the Kenyan contractors. So what happens is that we have a, a budget every year of about 50 billion for development under uh, the State Department for Roads. But the bills, the pending bills, as I mentioned earlier, is 167. So you need not less than three years, just pending, paying pending bills. That is why the government came up with a strategy to take contracts that were under or in the hands of Chinese contractors in terms of road construction and negotiate with Chinese government if they could be funded from their money through concessionary loans. Mm 